Hello. Hey everybody. Welcome to Disney Springs. We are here tonight to eat at Haleo. Oh, we've, finally. Yeah, we've wanted to go for such a long time. It opened in 2019. 2019. I've been wanting yeah. to since day one. Yeah. We finally made it. We're both a huge fan of Jose Andres. Yeah, totally. He's an amazing humanitarian. He has, um, he's been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. He's an award-winning chef. Yeah. So we're really excited to bring you guys along this experience with us. So come join us. just telling us that everything here is an open kitchen so you can walk around and look at how they make everything when they make the big paellas. We decided to go with the tasting menu which is called the Hileo Experience. So it comes with how many? Is it 12? I think you said 15 to 20. 15 to 20. <laughs> A lot of different small plates. So Jose Andreas actually is the one who kind of pioneered small plates in America. Yeah. And so they're small bites. So if you come here, you're encouraged to try a lot of the different plates and offerings that they have. Um, paella is actually more of a family style. So if you had a large group of people, that would be perfect to get. But because we're doing a tasting menu, I'm not sure if paella will be included, but maybe, maybe. we'll get to try it. But we are gonna show you guys what it looks like in the kitchen. We're gonna take you over there and show you around. But it's such a cool concept here. It just feels very inviting and I don't know. I you said that, like, the tasting experience is like the best way to get the entire menu, like the most popular items. Yeah. And it's it's a big menu. There's a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like they do the thinking for us. Yes. So we ordered a couple of cocktails to start out. And I asked our server which was his favorite um, cocktail. And he said, what kind of liquor do you like? I like gin and I also like tequila. And he said, since Spain is known for their gin and tonics, to order the ultimate, which is also Jose Andres' favorite cocktail. So I had to get that one. And look at how beautiful it looks. It was a nice presentation. He brought it out with the tonic water and poured that in. But it has Hendrix gin. It has a fever tree, Indian tonic, and juniper, lemon, and lime. So it's your classic gin and tonic. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. And it has a juniper berry in it, too. Yeah, I like the way this thing looks. Mm -hmm. Great presentation. Oh my gosh. You have to try this, Matt. All right. Oh, it's so good with the juniper berries and it just has this really nice, like the botanical flavor really comes out. So I got the inside out, which she said was kind of the opposite version of a Manhattan. It's based on Spanish sweet vermouth. It has Torres brandy, bourbon, and topped off with bitters. Ooh, I can smell the sweet vermouth. Yeah. It's mostly sweet vermouth. So you really get that flavor and it's a little bit bitter, but that orange just sets everything off. You would like this, this is good. So our first three courses came out. This one is a salmon tartare cone that has trout roe on top. That one is a tomato marmalade with goat cheese and those shavings are dehydrated tomatoes. They, they roast them here. here, they shave them and then they just leave them out to dry. These are not gluten friendly, gluten free. Right, so, right. Um, you wanna get one to try really fast? Sure, yeah, so I'm gonna do try, this one? Yeah, try that one first. All right, cheers. What just happened? <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah? That's so good. It's like bright with celery. There's some herbs in there. Little pops of salinity from the trout row. This is amazing. I'm already happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's your first bite. <laughs> first bite. I'm good. Can I have those now? Yeah. This one's got a sweeter quality to it, but a lot of acidity. And the goat cheese really just kind of cuts it. That's what he said it would do. The chef came out and explained everything. Yeah. And it was we like, were both just like Whoa. so it was so much at once. Here's the next dish. This was kind of a combination. So we have the Iberico Jamon. This is the best of the best. This is the black label, which means it's 100% Iberico pigs. It's the best quality in the world, really. And it has a almost a sweet, nutty flavor to it. But they also took uh, imported Spanish bread and put a tomato paste over that, garnished it with olive oil. And then we have some aged manch uh, manchego cheese, too. I'll try the manchego one first. It's like new realms of pleasure right now. <laughs> this is amazing. Mm. Count how many times we're gonna say amazing tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna try to avoid using that as the one word I say, right? The amazing counter. 
This is delicious. I'm gonna try this to bread by itself now. See, it's kind of this tomato paste that they bread it and they almost do it like a butter. Mm. It's so light and fresh. Really high quality, you can tell. So good. And then the next plate that we have, these are their olives. So they have olives two ways. These have anchovies and sweet peppers. And then this is a liquid olive, right Matt? Is that yeah. what you said, liquid? And it has yeah. orange peel. He also had some more descriptions to tell us about this technique. I don't exactly remember what he said just because I was so intrigued by the whole it thing. It seemed very complicated but he said and to very eat it. Yeah, he said to eat it all in one bite. So here we go. Yeah. Whoa. That was amazing. Amazing. He said, all you do, yeah, all you do is just eat it all at once and just let the juice just kind of yeah. run down your, your mouth. It's an olive oil with an olive and the orange peel. It just has a nice brightness. Oh, that was delicious. Yeah. I can't wait for you to try that, Matt. And I'll try an olive. Try an well. olive, yeah. yeah. Which one are you going to pick? This one. All right, we got a pepper. All right. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah? Mm. With the sweet peppers, that's so good. You're really happy? nice, yeah. All right, here we go. Right? Whoa, that was neat. <laughs> I love olives. I know, but you're you right, that olives. orange? That's the best. <laughs> I never thought orange with olives. I haven't, I've never had that combination before. It's so good. I'm, I'm blown away. I know. Well, Already. I know. We're, only three We're just getting in. started. This one's got an anchovy in it. I'm a little nervous about the anchovy. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't had the anchovies in a while, but. Mm. What they would have tasted like this. Yeah. I've had anchovies and I didn't like them. But <laughs> I, I didn't have them like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it all works. It's this so is good. good. So we have our next courses here. And we also have these gazpachos. Yes, gazpachos, two yeah, gazpachos. Two of them. So this is more of a tomato, right? It has tomato and cucumber, garlic. Uh, what else was it? And olive oil. And olive oil. So I'll try this one first. This is more the traditional style gazpacho. And we also Ooh. have another gazpacho to try too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. But the chef said this one is, is his favorite. This is his it's got favorite. Beet. Yeah. So I'll try this one. He said, in my humble opinion, this one's the best. Whoa, the flavor just, this one? You love beets too. Oh, I love beets. Has that nice earthiness, but it also has the savory from the tomato and the garlic. And you can kind of taste the cucumber too, which gives it a nice fresh, like fresh flavor. Yeah, that's good. Next we have the watermelon dish, which looks so good. So this is a sherry vinaigrette, based, or a reduction, cherry reduction. Basically right? a reduction, but yeah, it acts as the vinaigrette. I love how everything is just bite sized and you can just eat the whole thing, but it's like an explosion of flavor. I would never think to put watermelon with the cherry tomato. Does it work? Mm -hmm. This one is a salad of Granny Smith apples and fennel with a sherry vinaigrette, walnuts, and manchego cheese, and garnished with some fennel fronds. It smells amazing. Yeah. I wish you guys could smell this. It's funny, I know when it's good, when you almost look upset when you're eating it. <laughs> like, it's not fair. It's not fair. I wish I could share this with you guys. Oh, fennel is my favorite thing. I love fennel. This, I can't even, I can't even describe to you. Manchego cheese and fennel, you have to try it together. I never would have thought that. Because, yeah, I've never thought of it before, but. No, it's not fair. This is mine, Matt. This is mine. I want some. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I got to have that tomato bread, so I guess we're even now. This is incredible. Look at this. And look at it. I mean, this is this is a good size. Yeah. Too. It's a good size portion. I feel like I, I just think the tasting menu is the way to go, so yeah. you can try a little bit Definitely. of everything. Especially with a menu like this, and there's so much to try. Mm -hmm. All right, the rest is mine now. Okay, we're gonna try the in dive next. So this is an endive salad, and it has goat cheese, almonds, and what else was in this one, Matt? Goat cheese, almonds, and oranges. Oranges, oh nice. 
I wonder if should we just pick it up? Yeah. There it is, that almost upset look. Oh man! <laughs> this is amazing. We're having a really hard time finding any negatives about what we're doing so far. I'm sorry, I have no negative. This is really, really good. All the flavors come together perfectly. The orange is fresh. There's like this creamy tartness that comes with the goat cheese. And then you get the crunch with the almonds. And the crunch of the endive too. And the endive, you know? yeah. Terrell, our server, said this was his favorite and I can see why. It's, it's amazing. Every one of these things I could eat all day. So we got our next course. This one is a Spanish tortilla, which is similar to an omelet, but is much more difficult to make. Uh, and what the chef told us, it's made with potatoes and caramelized onions. That's delicious. Yeah. It's so confusing it because it yeah. feels like it would taste like an egg because that's what it looks like. But you, you can actually, here goes the paella. Oh, perfect. It's the paella. Paella. I'm so glad we caught that. It's so fun. <laughs> I know. They do that every time a paella is made. The potatoes with the tortilla and it feels like the texture of a, an omelet, but it's so savory and Flavorful. I can't describe yeah, this. Yeah, it's. I've never I seen anything that looks like this before. No. All right, I want you to try this one to see what you think. All right, let's see. Yeah. Isn't it? It, it, it catches you off guard because it's yeah. like the texture of an omelet. Texture of an it's omelet. Tortilla. It's melting your mouth. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. I got another cocktail. I wanted to try one of their sangrias, and this is the sangria de cava. And what he, he said that they use a watermelon and a strawberry and they infuse them together, macerate it, and let it sit for 24 hours. And this strawberry is actually one of the ones that they've infused. So it packs a punch, he said, and then they add kava to give it a little bubbles. It's infused with gin and sweet vermouth. Mm. Or vermouth, I don't know if it's sweet With the, um, the watermelon and the strawberry. Oh, yeah. that is good. I've never heard of a kava, I mean a uh, sangria. Sangria with, with kava. With kava or macerated with juices like that. This is this is my kind of sangria. Yeah? Yes. Nice. So good. You can taste the strawberry, of course, but I like the bubble. It's so, it's so good. It's so fun. You have to try it. My second drink is called Table Talk. It's made of hot haran, dry vermouth, dry whiskey, aquavit, and lavender. Ooh. Lavender. Yeah? Ooh, and licorice. Licorice. Nice. Wow, this is good. Which one do you like better? This one or the first one you had? I don't know. They're both good. <laughs> this is more of a sipper. Uh-huh. Because it's got that licorice, kind of a nice flavor to it. So Terrell just brought over the bottle for the main liquor, because I had never heard of it before. And I mispronounced it. It's Pacharan. It's a licorice liqueur or liquor essentially. It's so good. All right, so we've had patatas bravas in the past at different restaurants. Mm -hmm. So excited for this. That's a garlic aioli with roasted potatoes. And our server, Terrell, said to mix it all up before you eat it. Yeah. So we're gonna mix it all together. I like what he said. He said nobody likes to go to a party alone. Yeah. So you gotta mix <laughs> everything together to make it all work. And then Ooh. that paste at the bottom was a smoky pepper kind of sauce. Uh, that's used with chili de arbol. Mm. Smokiness, bright, acidic, creamy. Yeah, if you want a side of potatoes, like you have to get this. Our next dish is roasted piquillo peppers with goat cheese. And there's a piquillo pepper reduction underneath, topped with Malden salt and micro cilantro. Mm. I love roasted pepper. Put it with the Malden salt and the goat cheese and the flavor just, just I don't need to eat any more food ever again. This is the best. <laughs> so our last savory course is the carne asada with sweet piquillo peppers. And he said that they confit the piquillo peppers and they are fork tender. Wow, look at that. He said he, he's even seen people try to pick it up with their fork and it just falls right through, which oh, honestly <laughs> it is proving true right now, which is hilarious. Uh, but he did say to try the peppers first. Yeah, he said try the peppers first. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Oh my goodness. Everything's been a home run so far. I don't know how to describe that. It's sweet and it's savory and it melts in your mouth. He thinks that the peppers are the star of the show, even though it's called carne asada. But 
that was that was the best pepper I've ever had. <laughs> There's a lot of best ever's in this trip. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best to have like a, you know, I, I like food, but I'm trying to be level-headed about this. But everything is so good. I know it's like it's hard too to, hard. <laughs> you literally can't find anything that's not perfect. I know. There's like a wood fire taste to it too, right? Yeah, yeah it's sweet. It's savory. It's soft. It dissolves. That's amazing. Look at that. Perfect medium rare. That's a good steak. A lot of flavor, great seasoning, great crust on the top. I got some chive in there too, that's really good. So here's our next course. This is the gambas al ajillo, which is the sauteed shrimp and garlic. He said the garlic is confit in olive oil, so it brings out all the garlicky flavor without being overly bitter. And we can actually use that to spoon onto this bread. So I got a little bit of the garlic with the shrimp. Mm. That melts in your mouth, the garlic. I've never had it cooked like this, really, like where it's cooked down. Yeah. And it just melts, it just kind of disintegrates and... Yeah, you said low heat for a long time, mm. brings out all the flavor and doesn't overcook it. But it's it. not overly power... Right. It's not like an overpowering garlic flavor. It's more like a butter, olive oil. Mm, nice. It's very good. It goes really well with the shrimp. So I'm gonna try the spinach salad now. This is, he said that they took it off right as the spinach started to wilt. So, and it also has apples and raisins. What else? Pine nuts. Pine nuts that they created into a paste. And he said it's almost like a spreadable peanut butter. So they pull it off right when it's wilting to maintain a little bit of the crunch and texture in the spinach itself. That's good. Terrell said this was one of his favorites too. Yeah. I can see why. I was expecting it to be sweet. It's actually very savory. Really? Yeah, it's very savory. And then you get a bite of sweet with the apple. Yeah. See, it's, isn't it? It's, it's not, not what I had in mind. Yeah, it's not what you have in mind, but it's not bad. It's just no. totally different than the other mm. salad. Yeah, the apples are sauteed. Mm -hmm. I had a sear on one side. I'm trying to find one. Okay, so you can see the apple has a little bit of a sear to it. It adds a richness to it. it don't, it's sweet, but it almost gives a savory note, like you were saying. Yeah. This is delicious. I love this. So we got our last course, and look at this. It's a flan. Look at how so good. good. So this is a Catalan cream. Yeah, Catalan cream. But he also brought us a glass of cava. So yeah. cheers. Yeah, cheers. So nice. Oh, and he said if you like creamsicles, have a little bit of the flan with an orange and the kettle on cream, just like a creamsicle. Should I try that? We need to do that. Okay, I'm going to try it. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, man. He was right. Yep. Creamsicle. Amazing. Never eating again. No, I, I actually feel satisfied. I don't feel overly stuffed. This is really light and very creamy. Mm. Oh my gosh, That's I have to try more yeah. of this. With this, whatever this is. What is this sauce? It's part of the flan. Okay. So they cook the flan in a vessel and then they flip it on top to put it on the plate and then there's whatever liquid's left over comes in. Ah, okay. So it's whatever they cook the flan in. Gotcha. That may be one of my favorite desserts. It's, I don't, I'm not a big chocolate rich dessert type of person. Right. This is my speed. I like this. Well, after a long dinner, yeah, the last thing you want is something really rich, dark, and heavy. Right. You have to tell me what you think now. I'm so excited. I'm about to lose some of this, so I gotta wipe it off. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you, you got a little ambitious. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. It's a creamsicle. This is awesome. Yeah, wasn't he right? If you put it with the citrus. That's the best way to describe this. Yeah. Total creamsicle, light, orangey, vanilla y. This is perfect. All right, we wanted to give you guys our final thoughts on Haleo. Oh my gosh. I, I'm so speechless I know. because it was such a good experience and it exceeded my expectations. Yeah. Totally. By far. Um, Chef JJ came out and said goodbye to us as we were leaving, which, I mean, it just felt like such a 
family restaurant. Yeah, that's what. Just, yeah, you're right. That's what struck me is that it felt like a family environment where yeah. everybody really got along and really, really was passionate about was, what they were doing. It was really welcoming. I felt like, and for having a tasting menu and a little bit more of an expensive dining experience, it just felt so comfortable and welcoming. Yeah. And I, I highly recommend it for date night. Even if you want to just go in and get a pitcher of sangria and a couple of small plates, it's a perfect place to go. I think to try a little bit of everything. I think it was fun because I saw uh, people dressed up in suits and I saw people in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah, it just felt so like... So, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, have the experience that you want to yeah. have, whatever yeah. you want to experience. They kind of let there. you know what the, what the menu is two to three tapas per person is kind of what they recommend, mm -hmm. but then they play off of you and then you let them know what kind of flavors you like and then they just recommend stuff. Yeah, I would highly recommend just trusting what your server, yeah. if you know what kind of flavors you like, listen to what yeah. your server has to recommend. Terrell was amazing. If you go, I highly recommend asking for yeah. Terrell. He was so much fun and we left with our cheeks hurting from smiling so much, which is what he wanted us to he do. He said he had the goal of making our cheeks hurt from smiling. Yeah, and, and it, my cheeks works. hurt because I smiled I the whole time. It was such an incredible experience. Cannot recommend it enough. I think it is now, I, I feel like we say this every time we come to Disney Springs, but this is by far yeah, the best place to come one. for uh, for, dining, for yeah. a date night, for just a nice experience. A group of people, they have big tables to accommodate. Huge tables, you just yeah. you make reservations, they'll they'll make it uh, make room for you. Yeah. I will say the tasting that we had is not available every single day. Mm -hmm. It's only available certain days, so check ahead for that if you want to do the tasting. Yeah. Ours was 85 a person definitely worth the, the, the money yeah for sure it's, we tried stuff that we never would have thought that we would have tried yeah and I think that that's the fun thing about yeah. a tasting experience is that you get to try different things that maybe wouldn't sound right like yeah. I don't necessarily love steak but I really like the steak dish yeah our server asked us what was our favorite that we tried and I couldn't even I couldn't give it we, we gave him like six things <laughs> yeah we couldn't okay sorry our battery died but um, our server and the chef asked us what our favorite was that we tried and we Neither one of us had an answer. Yeah, it was hard to say one thing. We ended up saying like six things, yeah. which I mean, it's the great thing about the tasting menu is that so many different things you wouldn't have picked on your own. All, all around a great, great experience. And I can't wait to go back. Yeah, definitely going back. Yeah, highly recommend it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and for joining us for our date night at Haleo. We hope that you enjoyed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.